Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk about a topic that many people are messaging me and telling me not to talk about They're saying that this is going to cause more division and more hatred and is that my intention behind this? Yes it is It is my intention to divide the evil from the peace so that people understand We're not all Muslim in this world Most people who follow me are not even Muslims They want to understand what's going on And we're talking about of course the ISIS supporting athletes in the UFC do they actually support ISIS did Makhachev post this by accident was it a mistake did he not know what the song represents why does Hamza Chimaev have the same post up with only exactly the quotations about cutting heads off does Habib support the same thing etc so this is what we're going to talk about firstly I'm going to show you the song Firstly, I'm going to show you the song. So the song goes as follows. I'm going to translate it for you a bit. But we're going to... First, it's the chorus. is the lovely, flowery, Taylor Swift type chorus. We're just going to go past that. My Lord, and we turn past you. Start the fire in the battlefield. Oh, people, we turn to you. Oh, people of grievances. The battle has waged. They ignited the battle. Let the blood flow and dry. Follow the Sharia. Go forth of li O lions of Deen, start the fire in the battlefield, O people of grievances, war has raged, my lord, and we turn to you for help. Alright, come on. They ignited the battlefield, let the blood slow and dry. Kill the Rawatha. Every criticizer and failure, we tear off their head, we attack the idolaters. Who are the Rawafa? The Rawafa in Arabic, it's actually called Rafaba. By the way, just a point for any ISIS uh, nasheed making artists out there. Next time, use the proper word, the Rafaba. Rafaba means the criticizers, the rejectors, those who reject. So, we, so it says, kill every criticizer. That shows the root of their ideology as well. You cannot have anyone criticizing or objecting towards their type of beliefs. Otherwise, what do they do? We tear off their heads. That's, that's exactly what we saw in these videos as well, in the 2014 to 2016 ISIS propaganda videos. Cutting heads off with these nasheeds playing in the background. So, the Rafada are the Shia. The Shia, because they see them as the main ones who object and criticize the extremist forms of Islam. This is why ISIS, when ISIS got established, they didn't go and attack Israel. They came and attacked the Shia in Iraq. That's one. Secondly, this song came out in 2014. When did it come out? During the Camp Spica massacre, when about 1,700 unarmed Iraqi youth and young men were beheaded and executed by ISIS, in a long form video with one by one and thrown into the river until the river turned red from their blood that's when this song came out this song isn't just a random islamic nasheed no and anyone who does say that this is a random islamic nasheed you are the type of people that are the reason for islam being hated because of what type of islamic nasheed talks about blood flowing and heads being torn off Think before you speak, before you comment, unless you're actually one of the real ISIS supporters. So, on the 12th of June 2014, that's when this massacre happened. On the 12th of June 2024, Makhachev posts this song on Instagram and then deletes it after getting backlash that he didn't expect he would get because Hamza Chimaev posted the exact same song a while back and he didn't receive that backlash. So... They didn't know, he wasn't big enough yet, but now he's a, Makhachev is a UFC champion. So he received a backlash and of course people reporting the post and he can't have that. So they deleted the post quickly. Does that mean that he posted it by mistake? If he posted it by mistake, then he needs to come out and say so. People saying, well, he doesn't need to apologize to you. Who are you to apologize? He doesn't even know your name. No. But he needs to apologize because there are, if he actually doesn't support ISIS, then he needs to come out and apologize because he is now being seen as an ISIS role model, as the role model of terrorists. These little rats who come out every time an incident like this happens and put their heads out and come out with their fake accounts and comment, Yes, brother, 
with the warrior of Allah, you're one of us. He's now seen as one of their role models. So if he doesn't want to be seen as an ISIS role model, he needs to come out and say this was a mistake. But he won't. And I, I promise you that he won't. This is not going to happen. These people, this is their ideology. Hamza Chimayev, and you can look up these articles. Hamza Chimayev paid allegiance to ISIS before. And he said that anyone who does not support ISIS is not a true Muslim. Until when? Until he backtracked and because Kadyrov is against ISIS. Just like how you have, for example, Al-Qaeda and ISIS fighting each other in 2016, 2017 in Iraq. They were fighting each other, but they originally come from the same Salafi Sunni ideology, extremist form of Sunnism, but they, they were fighting each other. Jabhat al-Nusra and ISIS were fighting each other. Kadyrov, likewise, is also an extremist form, but against ISIS. So then Hamza Chimayev, because he's a Chechen, he had to backtrack and then he joined Kadyrov's group. But nevertheless, Hamza Chimayev's post, this is Hamza Chimayev's post on Instagram. Where he cut off exactly the part where he says, where the Nasheed says, kill the Shia. Kill the Rawafu. I don't know why this flash just suddenly turned off when I put the camera out, but anyway. Another one is... Uh, What's his name? Khalid Saad. Khalid Yahya Saad. Posting the same thing. Habib posting the same thing. <laughs> Habib Nurmagomedov posting the same type of posts. These people are from the same ideology. But what I don't understand is why are you fighting half naked on television? and supporting this ideology on the internet for youths to follow you like that why don't you become men and come to iraq come and die here just like your family members died here before you know exactly what i'm talking about so this topic is very important i don't understand how the and this is probably exactly why hamza chimayev cannot fight in usa anymore he can only fight in Saudi, in Abu Dhabi. He can't fight in America anymore. This is why he hasn't fought for a long time. And he's very ill right now and uh, his fight got cancelled and stuff like that. So this is an extremely important topic to speak about. We must divide this type of filth away from the peace and beauty of Islam. And sooner or later, sooner or later, when new terrorist groups come again because this ideology the roots of this ideology is what creates terrorism people say well america funds this and america funds that and blah 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 sure let's say that america does fund them with weapons and fund them with this and fund them with that if the ideology of blowing yourself up in a shia shopping center to kill women and children and old and young didn't exist then who would america fund America would have no one to fund if you say that, and I agree, America did fund ISIS with a lot of weapons. They supported ISIS when the Iraqi army got close to ISIS a few times. You can find this on, on WikiLeaks. The Iraqi army was getting close to ISIS. They got airstriked by America because they didn't want that ISIS position to lose. ISIS was supposed to run Iraq for at least 10 years so that they can uh, extract oil. Many, many countries were benefiting from this. From ISIS being in Iraq, Turkey, etc. But that's not our topic right now. If America didn't have anyone to fund, anyone who would willingly blow himself up, then doesn't matter who America doesn't matter how much money America has. Think about it. If this ideology doesn't exist, who would they fund? If America comes to me right now and says to me, hey, I'm gonna give you a billion, go and blow yourself up. I'm gonna tell him, suck your mom. Right? But this ideology does exist. What killed the Rawafu, cut the heads off. Did America make this nasheed? No, it's an Arabic man singing it, written by an Arabic man. I forgot his name right now. You can find it here, one second. Um, anyway, anyway, yeah. This particular nasheed, 
was an ISIS machine. Kill, kill, cut, behead. These athletes are posting it and deleting it and in a month, in, a two, in two months, they're going to post again. If you go through the entire, po entire page, you're going to find tens of these posts. So, this is very important to speak about. This isn't something we should be quiet about. In front of the eyes of the world, these people represent Islam. They represent the religion of Islam. And Muslims support them. So when this comes out, when something is going to happen in the future, and it will, something will eventually happen, and these people show their true colors, then it will come back to haunt us all. They're going to say, look, wasn't these the fighters that you supported, supported the whole time? Weren't these the public figures that you claimed represented Islam? So this is very important. Uh, we must speak about this. This must be shared. He must apologize publicly, which he won't. And I would advise them that they should come to Iraq. And we will welcome you here. And come here and join, make a new ISIS group and come and fight. Stop fighting half naked on TV and come and fight here. Support what you support openly. What is this taqiyya? <laughs> taqiyya, by the way, is what they claim that the Shia do in order to hide their religion. Lie and hide your religion so that you don't get killed. In Islam, you are allowed to, if you are in the case of someone kidnapped you or, for example, a group of racists grabbed you and said to you, are you Muslim? You're allowed to say, no, I'm not Muslim, just so that you don't die. Is that what Magachev is doing? Doing taqiyya for the sake of his UFC career? ICE is doing taqiyya now? You're hiding your beliefs in order not to lose a UFC contract? If this is what you truly support, why don't you support it openly? Why are you deleting the post? I believe all Muslims, Sunni and Shia, should stand together against this and they should expose these figures.